All right, guys. So sorry for the late post. I was actually on a plane back from Denver that I thought was going to kill me, but here we are. So it's uh, 1 a.m. Eastern time, but I'm still posting this watch list for tomorrow morning. Um, so let's get right into it so I don't waste any time. So Square, uh, I'm looking, this is going to be my first one of the four that I have this week. I usually want to do three, but four for this week that I really like. So I want to put Square on here because I think it has some room to go. Uh, had a great earnings release and it might be slowing down a little bit here, but I'm looking at the put level here at this 27250. On the other side, I think Square has some bullish sentiment right now with Coinbase having their earnings. So they're kind of related to cryptocurrencies as well. So if Mara and Bitcoin and Coinbase and all of them are going, Square will probably likely follow just because that was a big part of, big part of their balance sheet from their earnings release. So above this 280, we could probably see this 289, if not higher uh, for all-time highs. And then that $300 psychological price is one that I'm really looking at. Um, so the breakdown, I'll stay away from this or maybe take some puts around 272 or 273 because it can hit this 265.50 pretty fast. So below 273, we'll hit with 265 for puts. And then on the call side, 280 will be 290, if not 300. Um, so that's it. That's my lookout for Square this week. Uh, a lot of volume here starting to die out. So be careful. This one put side might be better if the market is bearish. Um, like I said, Coinbase is another huge one. I'm really only looking for this 260 break to head to this 280. I'd be really surprised if this didn't break out um, out of this downward consolidation, because it doesn't really depend on what cryptocurrency is doing. It depends on the volume and transactions happening on the exchange. A lot of people don't realize that. And this 260 break could be 280. And I wouldn't even be surprised if this is a $300 stock at the end of the week. There's a lot to go for this one. I bet you they report great earnings. Um, so keep this one high on watch. Above 260, could ride to 280. So big payer in play there, in my opinion. Disney is another one earnings this week. Um, not too much on this one. I don't really like this chart setup at all, but I do like um, some of their web traffic views for their Disney Plus streaming service. I know a lot of people are saying this is getting beat up because of the parks and the Delta variant. Things are closing down. So in that case, if it breaks below this 176.60 on their earnings week, I'm away from it. Uh, I won't take puts just because it doesn't really show me anything. But above this 179 to 180 price, um, and especially if we can break this 181.30, 181.50, we could easily see this 186. It's really in a downward a downward trend for a while now. So it's not really picking up a lot of steam here, but their Disney streaming, uh, Disney plus streaming service is up almost 19% just this month. And with the Delta variant, that's actually helping. Them. It's not really all about all the parks and closings and reopenings. They have, they have multiple streams of revenue coming in. So this one could be a nice gap up for earnings. So just keep this one on watch. And then the last one I want to show you is trade desk. They actually do it tomorrow. Um, their earnings release is tomorrow. So watch for the gap up in the morning. If they gap up, uh, I'm looking at these levels here above this 86.75, um, above this 88.50, above this 90, and then this big one here at 92.20. If it breaks this, it's headed right to all time highs, maybe even 100 bucks. So keep this on watch. TTD is a big one that's a reporting earnings tomorrow. If they gap down, probably a good dip buy. But if they gap up, keep these levels in mind because if it breaks this 92.10, going right to $100. So keep TTD on the list. And just to give you a quick update, I'm still long on these. UPS call options because one above this 194.14 or 195 or 194.50, we're going to start filling this gap up to 198. And if not, all the way up to this 209 mark, 209, 206 price. So it's got some sideways consolidation, loving this long term play. Uh, a couple months out expiration, even September is one actually I have, but I'll probably look to roll forward once it starts breaking out. But it's going to have a huge day here soon. Um, and PayPal as well. Looks like it's starting to form a little bit of a bear flag here, but um, below, if it can stay above this 275 price, I, I would not be surprised to see us back at 288, 290, uh, if not back up to this $300 price. So those are my two UPS and PayPal updates. I like those a lot. And keep in mind the Coinbase, Square, TTD, and Disney levels for this week. So sorry about the late post again, but hope this helps you guys make some money this week. We'll catch up next week. Oh, 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 oh,